Okay. It's time for a weapon core test battle. First round, we've got ourselves Pilfit versus the Hot Boys, Rony Dude, Lou White Mesa, and SF Tybo. Let's get this show on the roads in. Three. Oh, FOV. Hold on. Thank you. Much better. There we go. In three, two, one, go! Roni's leading the charge here. Let's go have a look. Uh, what glorious color scheme it is. Roni's going high here. Tybo's following in with Lou. As they head straight towards... Oh, I've got game music? Right, let's make sure the game music's a good volume here. Might be too loud, but we'll see. Pilfits. Pilfits also far full steam ahead here towards the Hot Boys. Let's come into this turret here and wait for them to get in range. Currently six clicks out. Roni's going up top. Going to go for an ambush. Potentially a, a ram core from the start. I don't know sure what the rules are about ramming or not ramming, but... Hey, it's Roni. What can I say? So, uh, all right, we got, uh, I got a ton of stats. Shift T. Oh, no, this is the problem. I need to probably paste my player in and then shift T. Hold on, guys. There we go. All right, but now I'm back in. All right, good. Okay, torpedoes away. We've got torpedoes going towards Roni, dude. Let's have a look. If these torpedoes can land, find their target on Roni. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Torpedoes. Hit! <laughs> The whole under... Oh my goodness, that first M8 hit just done a lot of damage to poor Roni. His underside has been ripped out. Right, left, not a good start. Roni returns the favor now, unleashing hell upon... Pilfit, but Pilfit's shields are holding for now. Pilfit's holding off three of them. His shields are low. His shields are down, should I say. He is being absolutely overwhelmed here, it looks like. But so far, he's taking minimal damage here. Those North Wind weapons doing their job gloriously, I might add. Pilfit's definitely got some tactics. It looks like uh, Pilfit's bridge has been destroyed, but he's probably in the uh, the CIC, not the actually uh, not not the actual bridge bridge. All right, Roni's coming in here, maybe for a ramcor, unleashing missiles. But he's, the missiles seem to have been taken out by the anti uh, anti missile weapons on uh, Pilfit's craft. There, Roni's getting absolutely. Well, he's actually not getting too bad. He's, he, he took that first hit, but he's doing all right here. All right, let's actually zoom out here. And have a look at some of the other guys to see how Lou's doing. Lou has lost one of his nacelles flying off. Lou has been super damaged here. I think he's taken a big hit to the uh, the rear end of his craft. A bit like Roni here. And he's uh, and seriously looking in trouble here. He's lost a lot of his forward thrust and seems to be drifting to the right-hand side there. There's a whole stream of fire, though, being unleashed from the blisters. Oh, I lost my tracking. Sorry, guys. Looks like Lou's coming in for a ram, maybe. But just... Oh, he just managed to miss the worst of that ram. Has uh, Pilfit. Very good maneuvering here. Now, Pilfit has plenty of firepower left. Plenty of big guns zipping out across the sky. I haven't... Where's... Uh, I haven't seen Tybo yet. Where's Tybo at? Beautiful dodge. I will admit he's doing very ro very well here. Roni is suffering even more so. He's only got a couple of weapons left. It does seem in this round at least so far... Uh, surprisingly, actually, having one big chonker is actually more be is better than having three Bring crafts. Good news today. Let's come in here. Thank you, Twisted Grim. I appreciate you using your prime on the channel. Welcome into the clan club. All right. I haven't seen Tybo. Let's have a look at Tybo. Let's see how he's doing here. Oh, here's Tybo. Here we go. 
Tiber's looking pretty good. Tiber's got plenty of... Uh, he's got his X3s lined up. He's taking some damage. See some reactor flames coming out. But he has also taken serious damage to his rear end. Uh, he's had better days for sure. I don't believe it, but it does seem like, uh, for now, Pilford is fighting off the Hot Boys, the most vicious of, of opponents here, using all kind of tactics. W what's the word for it? Like, uh, ingenious tactics or... Uh, no, like, uh, like, not regular tactics. There's a good word for it. Um, gone blank. Uh... Someone in chat, give me a, give me a, a descriptive name for their uh, their tactics. Oregano, it's on the tip of my tongue. Like not by the book. An orthodox. That's what I'm looking for. An orthodox tactics. Thank you, thank you. Oh, unconventional. They all those work. Now Pilfit does seem to be slowing here. He has plenty of thrust. Yeah, he still look okay on thrust, but he's definitely taking some damage now. Let's come onto the underside, underbelly of his uh, craft and see how he's getting on here. Those north winds firing gloriously here. I love these new weapons. Look at them tracking there and to see those... Uh... <laughs> that is a party time for Pilfit. It's great. It's always great when we see a modder in the tournament using their own weapons that they created you know it's 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 great when we get times like this and I, I really hope we see a return of the modest team okay i'm getting reports from the chat that lou has fallen it's down to 1v2 can pilfit hold off two more hot boy members where is lou can i find their corpse uh looks like Rony might be gone as well it might actually just be tybo here hold on tybo's coming in more m8s released M8s released from... Let's have a look at these M8s can find their target here. M8s wrapping around. M8s coming in. M8s coming in. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Five or six M8s found their target. And I think that may call the end of the Hot Boys for today. My goodness me. Those M8 missiles, re torpedoes really found their mark here today. M1, sorry, not M8. M1s, my bad. M1 torpedoes. And now, to add insult to injury, Pilfit finishes off what's left to poor Tybo here. And space goes silent. Space goes very quiet now. No Roni. No Tybo. No Lou. Just one lone Pilfit. Looking very much ready. He might even... I actually wonder if he could do that twice. I mean, damage report, he's lost probably... Uh, he's lost... Mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe half of his forward thrust. But his underbelly, plenty of north wind is still there. Guys, can we see a round of applause in the chat for our first winner here? I honestly would have put the, the hot boys winning that. I am surprised. Be it via ramming or be it by just, the, the, just outnumbering, you know, just have, being able to fl uh, outflank or whatever... I am actually very surprised by that result because in previous rounds, we normally find that if it's 3v1, it, the three will always win. The increased numbers tend to do better. And I don't know what came into play most in this round. Was it Pilfit, Pilfit's build, you know, the, the layout, the weapons, or was it actually his skill, his ability to drive and pilot his ship and use the things he created on his build to the max. He dodged a couple rams, you know? He, he His M1 torpedoes land, hit the targets most times. So I have to wonder um, what actually was the biggest factor of Pilfit's win there. Was it what he made or was it actually his skill? Because I definitely think skill plays a big part here. Pilfit says in the chat, I have been flying this ship for three years. Well, that will explain something. All right, next round. Climb is pushing me on. Climb, I need that. I need people to kick me off and get me on the next round. It's the only way we get this thing flowing. All right, next round. I will draw the prediction. And I think we're going to see some big time wins 